Welcome everybody to yet another video. This time we're in the Arx Corinium, a dungeon filled with giant snakes and these sort of sirens. They're called Lamia or Lamia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And all the trash is basically the same. All the packs of mobs are just like this one. You've got a few snakes, a few of those snake women, a lot of ultrasound, and um, and that's basically it. There's an occasional lurcher here and there that just you can see one in the background hiding behind a tree. Uh, this uh, dungeon has uh, two bosses in particular that are fairly interesting. Once you know the tactics though, they're not that hard but they're fun anyway. This is a dungeon for players between level 28 and 31. And as you can see here, this is just another pack of those. Snake, women, Lamia. So we just better head to the bosses. So this is the first one. A giant snake sort of resurrected or infused by more of those snake women. And you should watch out for a few attacks of his. Uh, the first one is just a regular attack that all these snakes do, which is a, a cone attack. So right now, uh, my party is killing off the remaining snakes, snake women, Lamia, uh, while I am trying to tank the boss over there. And because there are so many of them, it actually takes a while for them to join me. So we're almost a minute into the fight and still they haven't killed all the adds because there's so many of them. But once they have, we can get to the boss and the second ability that you really should watch out for is his AoE. Uh, he creates a sort of poison cloud but it also leeches health. So everybody who is in that AoE loses health and the boss gains it. And you can see that over here he almost regenerated half of his health. I'm not really sure why Anna over there decided to run straight into that AoE. Perhaps he was feeling suicidal or something. So it's very important that once he starts casting that AoE you get out of it as fast as possible because not only you will take damage but he will gain health and you really have to avoid it well after a little resurrection we can continue to fight and um, as you might imagine a ranged DPS is really useful here Here we are at the second boss, which is a giant Komodo dragon infused with lightning. He does a, a few attacks that you should watch out for, as usual. Um, and they all have to do with lightning. The first one is a lightning breath, which is targeted at a specific party member. It's over there. And he follows it by this, which is like a, a lightning bolt from his tail. I'm not sure if you can avoid it, but our healer certainly couldn't. And this is his second attack. 
a cone attack. A lightning breath cone attack. This is the first again. He's targeted one and now he's gonna swipe his tail with the lightning bolt. There. And if you survive you're stunned. But if you press both mouse buttons you can get out of it. third boss is where it gets really interesting. Uh, she has a small ad which is a, a little snake I suppose. And she has a few abilities but one is really important. She is called a songstress and she just proclaimed hide from my song which you should do and uh, I'm just gonna show you what happens if you don't hide from her song. The first time, not that much, but a bit later on in the fight, she plays or sings her song, and it's like a very devastating ultra sound. And as you can see here, it pretty much kills the whole party. So that's a wipe. And the idea behind this boss is that her ad, the little snake, he actually creates a shield. We're in it right now. However, I'm not sure why this is really not smart, but we decided to kill the ad first. Basically, killing our own shield. So, once again, I'm not sure. I'm sure I came up with it, but, you know, it's pretty stupid. So right now, when she casts her song again, we die because we just killed that snake. So, now you've seen how this boss should not be done. And you know, I mean, we were here for the first time, so a few wipes. I'm considering that's pretty normal, but this one could be avoided. So this is our final try, and I will talk about the boss a bit more. Uh, besides that song, which is obviously the most important part, uh, she does a few other things. So you should really not attack that snake at all, because once she dies, the snake will die as well. So this is her second ability, which is a regular power attack. You should just block those. But as you might have noticed from other videos, I'm not always very sharp or keen when it comes to that. So here two party members were too late, they didn't get it in the shield in time. There's the power attack again, this time I do block. So I've just rest one guy, we're just now going to rest the other guy. But I mean you should really leave to get into that shield because... Like I said, it's the most important part in this fight. And the bus itself, she doesn't really hit hard. And besides that AoE, that song of hers, she doesn't have any other noticeable abilities. And like you see uh, here, if you've got some ranged DPS, they can also attack her from the shield, from within the shield I should say. Here we are at a minor boss. 
there's a uh, quite a few ads to take care of first so you should as always um, and her main ability is an AoE and it's a special AoE with two red rings as you can see here the inner circle is targeted at a party member so watch this um, and it also does the most damage so it's important to either keep moving or keep avoiding that because as you can see over there our healer just took one full hit and he almost instantly died so it's not so bad if you're hit by the outer ring but the middle ring is really devastating Once again, a boss with quite a few adds. It's pretty standard, but you should always take the adds out first. Except for that snake, of course, from the two bosses ago. The one that provided the shield. But it's usually a good idea to take out the adds and afterwards focus on the boss because those ads do quite a lot of damage so this boss does a sort of leech attack which you just saw the green beam and this is like a charged AOE very easily to avoid and this is actually a very easy boss just like the previous one They're just two minor bosses before you actually get to the final boss. We've got a few German ghosts over here. And uh, this boss is also pretty tough because what she does, and you can see it here but we didn't know it at the time, is she electrifies or electrocutes constantly and when she's in the water the whole water is filled with well lightning or electricity so if you're in the water you ca you take constant damage so you should always stand on one of those islands So that's what we're doing here. I'm tanking her on an island. This is a sort of uh, ultrasound cone attack, which really hurts, but it should only hurt the tank. And then this is the nasty part where she casts AoE on those islands. So, right here, you can see once she's in the water, she starts electrocuting the whole room. So it's not only important to get her out of the water, but it's also very important to make sure that you get away from those AOEs, which are always cats on islands. And the third thing she does is attack a random party member and charges to them, like that. It's important that Tank picks, uh, picks up the boss very fast afterwards, because she can do considerable damage to party members especially with not that much armor like our Anna over there but as long as you keep her out of the water you should be good <laughs> 